so the best things come in threes they say so they got the three little pigs you have three blind mice you have nirvana so what i decided to do is give buyers uh, three really cool tips um, that will help them and they don't even have to go uh, inside the house cue the intro please Hey guys, Nick Casamassimo here, hope all is well. So um, I have, uh, like I said, three really cool buyer tips and guess what? You don't even have to go in inside the house to uh, reap the benefits. So uh, I'm gonna walk right now and give you the first tip and that tip is locate where the sewer is in the community. So we're actually uh, right by my house here. Actually, this is my house. And guess what? If you look uh, down here, walk maybe 20 yards and you're right by a sewer okay so just to go over uh, developers or actually uh, engineers will put a sewer at the lowest point in in the neighborhood uh, because they want to make sure gravity does its work and drains all the water uh, water runoff so what that basically means for you is that um, if your house is by your sewer, your house is uh, at the lowest point in the community. So if the sewer backs up, you are pretty much the first um, house to uh, be at risk for flooding. So keep that in mind. And um, just as an interesting thing, we've been in this house for about seven years now. And there was only one time that we uh, had a little bit of a scare. And uh, it was a couple of years ago and the rain came down in buckets for about five, six hours. And the water actually came up to about this point here where my foot is. And uh, it was pretty scary, but uh, it was the only time we had any sort of uh, issues. But bottom line, guys, is just check out the sewer. And um, it, it shouldn't necessarily be a deal breaker, but it's something you should be aware of. All right, so tip number two is you want to make sure that you, you like your neighborhood and it's well maintained. Uh, and there's two real quick tips or tricks that you can do to uh, see if it's the right neighborhood for you. So first one is um, just look at the cars in the neighborhood. You want to make sure that they are well maintained, that they're new, that they're nicer cars. Uh, you want to make sure that there aren't you know five six cars some on the lawn those are all things you need to look at also the other thing too is you need to look at the lawns um, make sure that they're uh, well maintained edged that the uh, trees are well trimmed and just don't look at your immediate neighbors you also want to go drive through the rest of the house so uh, the rest of the houses uh, in the neighborhood even at the end of the cul-de-sac so um, just keep that in mind and um, that should give you a good indication of how well maintained the, the uh, homes are in the neighborhood. Okay, and third and final tip, you wanna look at the fascia board around the perimeter of the house. I can't tell you how many um, inspections we've done and the inspector said that there's wood rot um, throughout the fascia board. That can cost a couple hundred dollars all the way to a thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars, and the worst case scenario is that there's so much rot that um, it's going to be an issue for uh, a lender so and it doesn't pass the a four point inspection so what you want to do is just circle around the house like this and look at the fascia board you can see my fascia board we've uh, made some fixes and it's uh, pretty much clean you want to look at wood rot discoloration and so forth so uh, that is the third tip and there you have it. You got your three really cool buyer tips and you didn't even have to go inside the house. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, if you have other tips that you want me to go over, please uh, just comment below. And uh, if you're in the market to buy or sell, uh, give me a call. There's no obligations. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I can talk real estate for hours. So uh, that's pretty much it. I, I wish you all good health and a happy home. Take care. If you got something out of the video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. Also go to casaart.com. Our site and channel together will give you original content and you'll learn the important stuff in real estate, even tips and tricks many agents don't want you to know. 
Thanks again and take care.